And thank you. Thank you for taking the time to be here and for your wonderful generosity. And gratitude is what the church's tradition of the Harvest Festival is all about. Oh, perfect timing. We're grateful as well to the dedicated, skilled and hard-working members of the agricultural community who harness God's great gifts of nature and make sure it's not wasted. Not that grateful. You want to see it? Not so grateful when you insult my daughter's memory with this. Moira, this isn't the place. For a little bit of honesty. Really? Well, you had your chance this morning, but you didn't take it. You looked me in the eye, put your sad face on, and offered to pray for my poor, dead Holly. Moira, should we go outside? No offence, Laurel. Don't patronise me, but you really don't have a clue. None of you do. About him. Moira. Ask her. Ask your very reverend vicar how they first met and how this man was paying to put food on the table. Uh, hello. Mm -hmm. Will, you should probably go. Go. I'll explain. Yeah, you do that. People change. Yeah. Well, you tell that to my Holly. You tell that to the families that are left behind after people like you have torn them apart. He's a drug trafficker. Your vicar's boyfriend is a drug trafficker. That's what she doesn't want you to know. Get the kids. They shouldn't hear this. What about you? What about me? This is somebody's feelings. It's not entertainment. Well, maybe I can help. No, I'm quite surprised. You have absolutely nothing to say. This isn't the place. We've all been friends a long time. There must be a better way of dealing with this. Yeah, look, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come back to mine? Yeah. yeah? Yeah, we can all get one of our boyfriend's joints, pass it around, and we can talk it through. Please, Moira, embarrassing me is not the answer. You've brought a convicted drug dealer into the village and lied about it. You've embarrassed yourself. That's not what happened. Did you know? Did you know what he did? <coughs> uh, why is everyone leaving? Mum, what's going on? Talk to her, please. Ah, it's the age-old story, Marty. Fake sympathy and milky tea while they do what they want and they judge you. You're a hypocrite. And don't you think for one second that I'm not going to be letting people know and your beloved bishop or whatever he's called. Right, we're going. Don't touch me. What's going on? Was it him? Was what? Was it him that gave you the drugs? He was selling drugs? No. Tell the truth. I got my fry in. What kind of drugs? Blimey, Nico. Well, I bet it was them, the mystery weed smokers. I don't know how I did guess. So where did Ryan get them from, then? I've never sold drugs. And you're talking about something I found myself involved in years ago. Found myself? Look, I'm really sorry about what happened to your little girl. Don't even mention her. You are a creep. You turned up here like a creep, and if you know what is good for you, you pack your bags and go. You are not oh, wanted well, here. It'll be all right. Do you think? I'll talk to her when she's uh, calmed down. Come on. You know, I want to be on your side. I really do. But I've got to be honest with you. It's going to take a lot for anyone around here to understand exactly what you think you're doing. So it basically...